This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. <laughs> I knew he'd left something behind. How's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Finding everything all right, I hope. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Darlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just- Atreus. All right, see you out there, Sindri. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. That was pleasant. <gasps> That's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell goes, eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there. 
That should do it. <sighs> See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? <laughs> We're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. <laughs> One less feathery spy. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. <laughs> Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I.
Did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. If only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in a second. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Trade Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <laughs> huh? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright.
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? I lie. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them.
They cap those geysers? Hmm. hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Throws one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? must have changed for the ones around it. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety. And defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Yeah! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir.
It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Blankets. Attack from behind. Good. Father, uh, up there. <laughs> Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <clears throat> Chain we can pull up there. You can uncover that geyser from here. <laughs> Bring it to the wall. We gotta knock it down. <laughs> Locks coming down. There's something else we can hit. Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block.
Maybe you could try using the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. What about freezing the guys or under the wheel? Maybe? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tia is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. They might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. I was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, 
Could we talk we to you for... We any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. <laughs> Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him. Poor feel. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Appreciate it. Take your time. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to serve half the creepy crawlers in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Another of Cavassia's poems. your service so this lockdown really is because of us oh my yes odin's grip on this realm is so firm any outsider is considered a threat sounds like an odinism if i ever had one till we meet again
I am as always at your service. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? <laughs> we made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Sorry to bother you. If you're you. selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, please kindly bugger off. A firebomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. <laughs> I think I see something. Could you maybe... No! Thank you! I see something. This looks promising, right? It's like a house. 
If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on you. <clears throat> None taken. Good point, though. Very well. Yappa! That's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry, and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's.
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? I do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Sparklefine. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> Whoa, an Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Great. Now we can make.
make it across. It's a bear slap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Uh -huh, it will be so. Great flight. <laughs> Whatever it spits up in the process. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Is that a watchtower? Huh. 
There's such a big bay, there's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. Find the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. <laughs> Pure Spartle fine slag? Give it here. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Ace here in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. <laughs> to explore here. Kind of nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Oh, my God. 
Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? Well, that's not just dirt. It's not dirt.
Whatever you need. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. The dwarves arrived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf and sparkle fine. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the Enough. bad things they've... We will continue later. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... No. Got to reach the ledge on the other side. I wonder if that <gasps> crank would help us move the gantry. <sighs> Gotta be the right spot. Those battles. I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would throw quite. Oh, well experimented. Here, if you found a high enough place to drop from.
surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. think we can reach it there. Yeah, that looks right. so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. 
But it is the start. And a mind of brother. Yeah. Part of fine swag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Doesn't seem like we can reach it from down here.
Nice. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rig. Look, the fish are coming back. Oh, so they are. Seem to have left that behind. What can I make for you? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Wear it with pride. I'll take him. I think it means. Seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagrin's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably... The best. 
Them alone doing it isn't disconcerting enough. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was... Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Ah, but enough of that for now. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir God? What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant. Wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Gavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. And we'll just stop there for now. nothing brother just you ever have those moments where you wish you could go back rewrite your own past make different decisions journey through time is more trouble than it is worth ah uh, fair point you're speaking metaphorically right no of course you're not Looking for Durlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are 
out looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <clears throat> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, um, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey. This isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead.
Okay. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a map beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven tree, right? We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. I think we need some special equipment to use this. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Dullin! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. <laughs> you know... Maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. It seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Deactivated, but yes. 
Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Special equipment to use this. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... when we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine.
back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. I meant my life. Hmm, hopefully that's it. Keep going. We're so close. Just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Find your brother! 
This place is incredible. Whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone. I see a passage, if we can get through this ore. So, point the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Look on the ground. Yeah. It must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. <laughs> Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Hey, looks like you stopped the water flow on that trough. That's it! 
Let's head across. The bracer to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light it? Good bet. There's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? Is cooperative in large scare quotes. I'll be able to get up there if you help me. <laughs> Great! I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Petraeus. That was close. Try again. Another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye, might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? You lift on your side. I will lift on mine. Ah. 
Maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Looks like we found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? Huge cranes moving this way.
think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Look out! Well, it looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's gotta be another way. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Yeah! Uh, these guys again? Where are they all coming from? It certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! <laughs> Certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I 
I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wreckers were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! <laughs> Keep moving. Maybe we can ride this boat thing further into the mine. Worth a shot. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff. And I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Your instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword. Lux. actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. No need to thank me. This is... beautiful. Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. There's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. <laughs> the 
water flows blocked. Yeah. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? <laughs> ah, not quite right. <laughs> oh, the water's overflowing where you froze that trough. That's helpful. There should be a way to turn the wheel, no? I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ah. Brothers, with Thimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Across the way, there's another door. Maybe that's the one. Discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Amir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Those wheels somehow. Outstanding. That overflowing water is powering the train. Clever. There's another door! Let's beat these guys and check there! Whoa. Behind you! It's coming! Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, shall we? I don't think we can go this way. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yulf the thief. There in no time. lift up. Deer can't be far. New exercise. 
But think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Tyr? Whoa! What happened here? They certainly weren't here. Best look around. Is that a relic? Huh. Feel a breeze. We might be able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother, perhaps it's time no, we. Don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Up there. The path keeps going. We'll just have to get across. Wait. Is that just, that work? Do you believe we're above where we got off the boat by Sindri? This mine is one enormous spiral. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill, built by Durin the Generous. I believe that's all of the rebel artifacts. We can return to Brock whenever you're ready. Yo! 
Largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You do not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. Why didn't that work? The chain is blocked. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. See a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? Proof of the weight of destruction. But if the weight of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. It's gotta be it. We 
still have to go back and check out that last door, right? I'm telegraphing to be still. <clears throat> Looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. Hear that, brothers. I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait! Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's bar. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that if you have a spare bed. I see what we must do. Yalpa. Clearly they don't want us in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. This 
war. Those plates. I know you. God killer. And you come from me now. Only to free you. Stay away. Rather let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Why? Find your son. Me alone. Tear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get yeah, you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us?
Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know I'm here. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotunheim? <laughs> my mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphine now. You have my sympathies. wrath to free me well ragnarok is coming i hope you knew that we thought you'd want to help you freed me only to start a war no um um so Tia, it's good to see you in the flesh again namir what's become of you following in your footsteps betrayal indefinite imprisonment Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to. Well, that. Highly pleasant for all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's. It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur. Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir. Speak of Baldur. I was getting to that. No. No, 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 no. attack you should have taken the spear defended yourself no i've abjured all violence but you're the god of war i left that behind long ago if odin starts ragnarok you really wouldn't fight not even if i wished to
Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... ...or worse yet, lead you to it... ...then kill me, now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok! We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. night's rest and maybe some food I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner brother perhaps now you'd like to finish the story uh, the sons of Thor attacked us we killed them Baldur tried to kill Freya I killed him but you skipped over how we fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. Finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, we were all dead. Dead. Do you think Odin? We do not know. <laughs> I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainuriyar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look out! <laughs> Yggdrasil. It's been too long. Here, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry, that name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are, were, very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. A treehouse. Lord Tyr, you're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> so, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tyr. I'm gonna turn in. Good day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. 
Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Have the room pump. Yes, but if where I keep my room, that's all I need. To be honest, all I can do is manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hard pack. Hard pack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I with a pinch of salt. Well. I'll put some herd on them. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Huh. 
glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the Oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Ormengander's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay... Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! going on so father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died but I don't know what he's talking about accidental magic that is disquieting <sighs> accidental magic's not all I sort of turned into a bear a bear Including the slobber. Yeah. Then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... Venomous? Shoot the barrel. Yes! Feels good, right? Great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the arm of Tear statue end up here? Wow. Almost like you've done this before. Looks like there's something hidden by the horsemen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father would. Not what I said. Jump! I can't see the other side of the panel from here. Can you? Maybe you need a higher vantage point. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Here's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing. Stop! Patience. A little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Uh, don't touch me. Wow, Sindri. Harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. That's a quality craftsmanship. Stop up. Ha! <laughs> 
for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back Frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah. 
exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though, sweet vessel, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try.
Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Soundstone. See me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Tell me. Thank <laughs> you. 
I had a compass. I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. the door hello down there hey come to your senses yet yes I mean uh, I'm not changing my mind ha you do have doubts <gasps> hey like you never do better than having regrets I'm not sure I agree with that but by all means keep going and you might find those too Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just 
because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. Probably avoid mentioning that. Is that for you? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I, I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. <sighs> Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking, and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> <laughs> Something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Do they ever quit? Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. Ah. When the time Really? Right. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. 
Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Uh. <clears throat> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... hang on, Lil Yotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there... I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. certain the giants would not counsel war. I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. this sausage uh sure why not i remember food tasting better <sighs> i suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot i accept what <sighs> i'm sure that's where i'm planning our next move oh so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here. You're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, the least I can do to repay you. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends.
sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed a little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. <sighs> ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine. Clearly, perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Rhea tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on him. He can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. It seemed better now. Huh. Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long.
I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia's chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Huh. Very well. never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <gasps> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, over there. very clever. There's a gap in the fence over there. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanian traveled to Alfheim 
where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. There's a gap in the fence over there. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. Did you hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a... Find you, watch out! We're the ones who freed the light. Whoa! Is that a bomb? 